Woman of the Hour. The eighth and final episode of Starz's comedy series Minx Season 2 centers on Constance's party in her vast estate to mark the opening of Minx International. Constance reveals a pleasant surprise to Doug Renetti when he confronts her about her plans to liquidate bottom dollar publications. As Constance meddles with the magazine's content selection to make it palatable to mainstream feminists, Joyce Prigger realizes she is losing creative authority over Minx. Joyce declares war on her backer at the end of Season 8, and will tell you all you need to know about it. Spoilers alert. Link Season 2 Finale Recap. Constance questions Joyce about Richie's bathhouse photo shoot at the start of Woman of the Hour, which directs her to the photographer. She makes it clear to Richie that Minx should put its female audience before its gay readers, which the latter take offense to. Given that he has already worked on the issue twice, he requests that she publish it without his assistance. Constance reveals that she wants to disband Bottom Dollar and start Papadopoulos Renetti Global with Doug as the president after Doug questions her about her desire to do so. She reminds him that he will be reporting to Tina and Joyce as well. At Constance's party, Joyce shows up carrying the contents of the most recent edition of Minx. The affluent widow advises her not to release the most recent installment of Bella LaRouch because it discusses a same-sex relationship. Constance informs Joyce that lesbians and their perspectives are not welcome in her mainstream feminism because she fears that they would be attacked in the name of the movement. When Joyce declares that she wants her magazine to represent all women, her funder prompts her to consider the value of making concessions. Lenny and Shelley make the decision to split up while the former is getting ready to go to Italy to be with Doreen. Doug is engulfed in joy as he gets ready for the big party. He shares the news with Tina first because he is enjoying his new position as the new company's president. She doesn't give him the chance to repair their relationship, despite his continued desire. Lenny finds it challenging to care for their children alone after Shelley decides to end their relationship. Bambi assists Lenny in calming the children and further offers to take care of them if Lenny needs assistance. Minx Season 2 Ending Does Joyce get fired from Minx? When Constance initially agrees to help Minx, Joyce is ecstatic because she has found someone who respects women's voices in the patriarchal culture they live in. She values having one of her role models in her publication. But she gradually comes to the conclusion that Constance's views on feminism are different from her own. Constance wants the same magazine to be a platform for the elitists among them while Joyce wants it to be inclusive and a representation of the world she lives in. Joyce feels it's time to take back control of her creative process after Constance rejects the newest chapter of Shelley's sexy novel. Joyce decides how to publish the most recent issue of Minx, defying Constance's orders and upholding her principles. She halts the publication of the magazine's seriously compromised issue and spontaneously produces a new one utilizing Richie's account of police brutality. Joyce understands she can't dismiss Richie or Shelley's work since they are more significant and relevant than pandering to mainstream feminists. Knowing that Constance will not put up with the same, Joyce activates her rebellious side. Joyce doesn't want to continue working for the affluent widow, even if she doesn't dismiss her apprentice. Joyce chooses to leave Minx and Constance's new business as a protest, even if the latter doesn't fire the latter. In order to reveal the lack of depth of the new publisher in the game, Joyce then decides to draft a provocative resignation letter and submit it to other important magazines. If Constance decides to silence her while running Minx, she is determined to establish a new platform for her voice that is independent of Constance. Will Constance shut down Minx? Shelley, Richie, Bambi, and Tina join Joyce in her struggle against Constance. Even though Tina has been generously treated by Constance and is her most trusted ally, the latter doesn't approve of the manner the former attempted to silence Joyce. Tina cannot stand a woman who tries to silence and dominate the opinions of other women. Richie is finally able to express his ideas without being constrained by Constance's constraints. Running Minx becomes challenging for the wealthy widow because the company's primary creative minds have turned against her. Constance might decide against closing the magazine, though, as Minx is an iconic brand. Constance's entire strategy to launch a new business and Minx International depends on Joyce's success in making Minx a household name. She will have to start from scratch to create a new women's magazine if she loses the Minx brand. When Constance has Minx on her hand, she doesn't want to wait years for the same thing to occur. Because she has options available to her, she also explains to Doug that Joyce can be replaced. Instead of killing the goose that lays golden eggs, Constance can try to find another woman to lead her goals for Minx and Minx International. By joining the Minx success story, Constance re-enters the corporate world. Without such a base, she is just another publisher attempting to sell a random women's magazine to the majority of the nation. It is clear that she will keep Minx dear to her heart whether Joyce is around or not. Do Doug and Constance get together? Doug becomes Constance's ally after Joyce rejects her and departs. He sees the opportunity to lead the new company Constance is developing as an aspirational businessman. Doug is appreciating the success narrative they have been creating together as they have plans in place to publish Minx on four continents and eight countries. By the conclusion of the party, Doug has earned a spot on Constance's bed in addition to her new company. Their passion, though, could not be one of the harder of love. They might be engaging in an exclusive night and dawn celebration of their respective triumphs. Constance has always been drawn to competitive men. 
both in bed and on the job, she has been successful in defeating them. Constance must be attempting to keep Doug near to her by urging him to sleep with her, especially in light of Joyce's departure. Constance wants someone to stand up for her, and by being intimate with Doug, she may be able to bind him to her. Doug might not want his liaison with Constance to go long because he still has feelings for Tina, but he might want to continue being her business partner. He might not reject Constance's advances toward him if doing so will enable him to lead Minx in their new business. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more.